Hello everyone, I'm Said from Mapillary. In this talk, I'm going to talk about alternative approach to mobile mapping, which is the map in 360. This brings opportunity to use 360 images, which can be accessible on ID Editor or MapReduceM plugin for OpenStreetMap community. Before moving to topic, I'd like to simply explain what's Mapillary platform. Mapillary is a street-level imagery platform that scales and automates mapping. Mapillary extracted data still needs human intervention for the verification and validation before adding to OpenStreetMap. Mapillary is a scalable way to create map data faster, cheaper than legacy methods, and make this data available for everyone. Key enabling technologies are computer vision and AI. What I mean with the legacy solution is the data collection with mapping ones and manual map data collection. These methods are not scalable and not efficient for map data collection. Mapillary makes data collection globally scalable and automated. Users can capture images with any camera and map data is generated fully automated pipeline by Mapillary. This map data is available instantly in all integration. Mapillary derives map data from geotagged street level imagery and automatically position features like street sign, fire hydrants, street signs, and many, many others on the map. Images upload to Mapillary are initially tagged with the GPS position and time step obtained from the sensor of the capturing device. After upload, our system generates reconstruction of the scene in 3D using multiple overlapping images in the same location. Open source structure from motion library is used to build uh, these 3D models from the overlapping images. Next, our computer vision technology identifies object in the imagery using object detection algorithm, combining detection of the objects in several images and the 3D model allows us to calculate the position of the detected object in the real world. Mobile mapping is the process of collection, collecting geospatial data from mobile vehicle using various sensors such as 360 camera, laser scanner, GPS IMU positioning system, and some other sensors. This is one of the most time and cost effective methods to collect geospatial data, but it's required expensive equipment and managing and processing its data is quite uh, difficult. And also for the sometimes you need manual um, annotation for the street level uh, imagery in order to extract map data from the street level imagery. The most important advantages of mobile mapping, you can generate map data with higher accuracy and attach a wide range of sensors like LiDAR, radar uh, to mapping one. The mapping 360 literally is generating map data from 360 imagery and enriching OpenStreetMap. And equipments are low cost and it's very easy to upload 360 imagery and it requires very short processing time. And you can keep your data update periodically and map extract map data for you. Flat frame image can limit the map editing workflow. 360 images bring panoramic viewing to OpenStreetMap editors for more comprehensive understanding of the space and place. It's no surprise 360 images and high precision positioning capture images truly increase map data accuracy and 3D reconstruction abilities. Instead of capturing a frame of street level imagery in different direction, 360 camera can capture an entire scene simultaneously. It saves time and energy for data collection. Mapler recommends these following cameras, which price range starts from $200 to $5,000. On the first one, you have LG 360 cam, which is around $200 and the uh, GoPro Vision, one of the most uh, used one from our community, and the uh, GoPro Max 
and also you can see Insta Pro 360. 360 street level imagery provides more comprehensive understanding of the map space and more accurate machine generated map data for OpenStreetMap community. We are also testing Mosaic 360 camera, which is dedicated to street view capture with real time kinematic GPS. We have already some images from Prague, and I would like to invite you to take a look at uh, 360 coverage in Prague. There are also some great multicam setups uh, on Mapillary with setting regular cameras in for a different direction. And Mapillary app, web app gives you smooth transition when you are panning uh, to another direction. As you can see on the left, left GIF, uh, you can pan different direction and then it gives you very smooth transition. Uh, in this setup, four Sony HDR action cameras are used but this can be replicated with any other action camera. So let's talk about uploading workflow for 360 images. Uploading 360 images can be sometimes challenging based on which camera you are using. After capturing 360 images, these images need to be stitched before uploading. Garmin Verb and GoPro Max do stitching on device. So no need to stitching before uploading. However, uh, GoPro Fusion and some other 360 cameras might not have this capability stitching on device. So these images need to be stitched before uploading. Once you completed stitching process, you can easily upload those images using web uploader, Mapillary tools, or uh, Mapillary desktop uploader. And with the Mapillary Desktop Uploader, you can basically just drag and drop all the files on the Desktop Uploader and Desktop Uploader gonna do the job. Uh, this is Mapillary web app uh, interface where you can uh, filter 360 imagery. As you can see there, no wide coverage of um, 360 imagery. So if you have any 360 uh, equipment, you can easily use Mapillary 360 uh, uploading workflow and uh, bring your images to Mapillary. Here we have uh, ID editor interface. I would like to show you where you can uh, enable Mapillary imagery overlay. Here, as you can see, you can enable Mapillary overlay, and then you can also filter uh, flat photos and panoramic uh, photos on ID Editor. Uh, we have also Mapillary uh, JOSM plugin. You can use street level imagery and Mapillary ex extracted map data uh, on JOSM. In the latest version of uh, Mapillary plugin, you can filter username and organization. Also, you can see, uh, you can filter start and uh, ending date of the imagery, and then also how uh, fresh you want to use this street level imagery. As you can see this filter on the right side of the screen. And uh, in the upcoming session, upcoming version of Mapillary JOSM plugin, we are uh, going to support 360 uh, viewer as well. So these are available data on Mapillary, and you can see all the available data on OpenStreetMap, uh, open request, and then traffic signs are already available globally. So if you would like to map any of those features, you are welcome to send requests uh, on ID Editor by filling up the form, and we are happy to uh, enable those map features for your local map. Also, I would like to uh, share some of the accuracy comparison uh, from different devices. We have done some, we have done some field testing to investigate the impact of uh, capture equipment on generating map data. 
we capture images in the same area with various cameras. Here you can see the list. And we compare positional accuracies. And positional accuracies are determined by comparing map to generated, generated map data and ground truth. As you can see in the list in the table, map data can be generated with 1.2 meter positional error, which is satisfactory for enriching OpenStreetMap. And all this data needs human inter in, uh, intervention before adding to OpenStreetMap. So extracting map data helps editors to save time and energy during the map editing workflow. Now let's talk about some of the comment use cases, how comment to use 360 images for mapping efforts. Uh, there are diversified examples of mapping 360 uh, to enrich OpenStreetMap in the community. We are going to highlight different use cases shortly at the following. One of the most common use cases, mapping cycling infrastructure. The first example is capturing 360 images to map cycling infrastructure in France to improve cycling routability in France by GeoVelo. Definitely recommend you to check out uh, geovelo.fr, the website for the inspiration. And uh, GeoVelo is one of the contributor to Mapluri, and then he has uh, extensive 360 imagery coverage uh, in France. And there is another example. One of the community member uh, capture with the GoPro vision in rural area uh, for mapping utility poles to understand where power lines are um, built, also to find the shortest way to build uh, fiber optic infrastructure. And here you can see walkthrough of how you can use Mapillary uh, map extracted feature and 360 imagery for mapping utility poles. Uh, Mapillary map features helps you to show where the possible map feature is located. And then here you can use uh, 360 imagery for uh, validating if this uh, object is exactly there. And then after you can easily map this uh, utility pole. Here you can see how 360 and map generated uh, map data can help map editing workflow and save time and energy. And another great use case of 360 street level uh, imagery uh, POI viewer. This tool is developed by Tankuru, one of the Mapri contributor uh, from Japan. This tool gives you a better understanding of POIs on OpenStreetMap. Currently, it doesn't support editing and contributing OpenStreetMap, but there is a tool, uh, Derviste, uh, for uh, editing OpenStreetMap by using uh, street level imagery. There are also some other cool imagery use cases uh, from uh, Mapillary community. And I would like to invite you to take a look at our blog uh, where you can see more cases uh, where our community used 360 images. So thank you for listening. In this talk, uh, we reviewed the workflow of data collection with 360 cameras and how to upload 360 street level imagery to Mapillary and compare the impact of different camera models in terms of map data extraction. And also I share some of the good example of using 360 images. I hope this presentation may inspire some of the OpenStreetMap communities to coordinate their uh, own street level data collection and then improving their local maps. Thank you. Thank you. Cool, and you're live. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this presentation from Said. Uh, so I will be reading some of the questions I have in the path. So the first question I have uh, is, what are you most excited about now that Mapillary is part of Facebook? Uh, we don't hear you, Said. Said, uh, I think you're in mute. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Thanks for watching my presentation. 
Uh, when it comes to a uh, question, so I'm really excited that uh, Mapper joined Facebook and most importantly, Facebook built uh, great tools for a mapping community like Rapid Editor and also uh, developing uh, machine generated web data by um, validating um, this data by the, thanks to community. So I think developing better tools uh, for the community uh, with using AI and machine generated tools uh, will uh, scale up uh, mapping effort globally in the world. I think Mapillary will be also uh, great tools to validating machine generated data. Um, so that's really excites me. Uh, thank you, Said. Uh, so I have, uh, let's see, I think it's more like a comment. Uh, this It says, uh, one should mention a problem with armchair mappers use photos without having own knowledge of the place. You can demotivate local mappers and write them away from OSM if the armchair mappers use outdated photos. Uh, they yeah. are, why you didn't mention this in your talk? Yeah, that's a great input. So definitely like uh, we rely on uh, local um, mappers contribution, but Still, street level imagery uh, can be great tool. And also we are um, informing users that, so these are uh, the street level imagery which are captured during the specific date. So if you have better information uh, about this uh, place locally, so please just ignore and map according to your local knowledge, but it's uh, always better than having data than having nothing on the map. Okay, I have. I uh, uh, thank, thank you, Said. Uh, if uh, hi guys, if you think uh, you need more clarification in any of the questions, please feel free to add in the pad. I will be reading uh, the pad over this uh, Q and A uh, session. So another question I see here is: uh, Are there any downsides to be part of Facebook? Uh, it's actually too early to um, comment uh, for this question. It's very early. Uh, we just uh, joined the Facebook. So so there is one concern we uh, hear from the community regarding privacy. So we will do our best to improving uh, and uh, respecting privacy and complying all the GDPR rules and that kind of stuff, uh, that kind of stuff. So, but it's too early to talk about this at the moment. Okay, thanks, Haid. So I have another question. It says, uh, is it possible to increase the position of the photos using the elements present in the photos? Um, this is not very clear. Why do you, I don't know if um, yeah, this, this not, person can a little bit clarify the question. Yeah, and also they don't have the name of the of the people writing in the pad. So, uh, could the person uh, of this question could elaborate a bit more so we can have uh, an answer from Said, please? That would be great. Yeah. Also, I'm more happy to have a question on uh, my, you know, uh, presentation uh, rather than on the current news. So this will be more productive uh, discussion. Okay, there is uh, one person writing a question. One second, because this person haven't finished yet. One moment, please. Yeah, sure. Okay, so the question is, uh, can we remove our photos now so Facebook can have them? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, the community users uh, can request deletion by contacting the support at maplery.com. And then within a following week, so we will remove all these uh, images and all the uh, metadata which are uh, stored on Mapillary Cloud. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Said. And I see another question. Welcome. Are there any plans to include point clouds, for example, LiDAR data? Uh, actually, like we have um, open source library open structure from motion where community members uh, can generate their uh, point clouds from the imagery uh, which are exist on Mapillary. But at the moment, uh, as far as I know, uh, there are no plans for uh, having a lighter support uh, in our platform. 
but we are happy to hear more feedback regarding supporting LiDAR. So if there will be any need from OpenStreetMap community by using LiDAR data. So really appreciated to hear this feedback uh, and then bring this discussion uh, with the team and the production team, uh, product team. Hey, thank you, Shahid. So uh, there's still a couple people writing questions. So let's see. Uh, One moment, please. Yes, sure. Okay, uh, I think the person who uh, asked before about the position of the photos, right now is clarifying. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I will read again the question, uh, so we have the full context. Uh, it says, uh, I have you here, but here I have my other computer reading the question. Yeah, so don't I worry, that's, that. that's all. all so it's not that I'm chatting or doing something else. Okay, I'm reading here yeah. the path. Okay, it says, no is it possible to increase the position of the photos using the elements present in the photos? Uh, the clarification is in the sense of creating a photogrammetric approach with the 360 images to create a point cloud. That's the complete question. Uh, yes, uh, this is... Um some of the product which, were, which we were uh, working on, uh, but at the moment, like there are no uh, option where you can measure uh, or having a height of the element uh, in the photo. So, but feel free to develop your own point cloud using open structure from motion. And then I know like there are a couple of developers uh, from community, they are um, visualizing 360 imagery and open street map data map data and then where there are also some uh, options some um, a prediction about the height but at the moment like uh, maplery doesn't have any product where you can measure height of the element uh, if i get this question clearly but uh, one thing which i would like to clarify so we are already using this uh, photometric approach while we are uh, generating um, map feature data like if they're um, overlapping images by using this overlap overlapping images we generate a 3d uh, reconstruction of the area and then where we extract map data so i hope uh, this helps uh, for this question yeah perfect thank you thank you Shahid. so i have more questions now uh I also have uh, two comments uh, related to the question before regarding if people can remove the photos from another Facebook uh, so they can have them. So there are a couple comments. Uh, the first comment says, uh, Facebook could use them before they acquire Mapillary because you granted an open license. And the second comment is, this will be a silly thing to do as you granted an open license. That's all. no question, just comments. I mean that. Uh, yeah. So I just want to highlight uh, our commitment to OpenStreetMap. So our commitment as a map will be uh, stay, still remaining the same and the data will be available publicly. So no one needs to worry about uh, if this data will be gone somewhere. So this data will be still open and accessible uh, by um, anyone publicly uh, with the open license. Okay, thanks, Said. Uh, okay, another question will be, uh, is there any plan to snap photos to highways uh, semi-automatically? Um, I don't know, like, as far as I know, um, I mean, we had an approach to uh, fleet um, in back. So I don't know, like, uh, what will be the future approach to snap photos to highways automatically. But this is uh, definitely, like, um, I mean, would be great, like, instantly um, imagery will come into a Maply platform and then Mapry could manage to extract map, map data uh, more frequently than the data which uh, is generated will be much more fresh. So this is very well deserved, but uh, we don't have any uh, plan at the moment, like to snap photos uh, to highways automatically at the moment. Okay, so I was- In my have... knowledge, so. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, we still have some minutes. Uh, so I will take uh, probably two more questions. And then if we don't answer everything here, maybe they can contact you directly because we have a next talk in a bit more than 15 minutes, okay? Yeah, sure. So um, 
my email was in the presentation, but I can uh, still um, share my email here. So mm -hmm. site at maplu.com, feel free to reach me out. Also, you can reach me out on Twitter, um, handle AS uh, Turk server. So feel free to reach me anytime so I can so do my best to help you. Thank you, Said. Let's go for two more questions and then we close uh, this part. Uh, are the computer vision models you use open source? Uh, this person said we'd love to try them out. Um, actually, I, I'm not very closely working with the um, uh, computer vision team, uh, but definitely like the uh, extracted data is uh, completely available. So this person can uh, reach out the computer vision team for accessing uh, the according to the, his needs so, or her needs. So we have a computer vision uh, team and I can also share their contacts with you uh, for further further discussion, but we are uh, supporting any kind of uh, research uh, in my knowledge. So they will be happy to help help them out to uh, if there will be any uh, development uh, plans. Okay, yeah. perfect, Say, thank you. Uh, the last question, uh, what are the most comfortable, effective 360 camera setups for hiking? Uh, capturing imagery on trails or paths, if there are any. Um, yeah, I could uh, definitely suggest uh, Garmin Verb uh, 360 or GoPro Max or GoPro Vision. So they are quite light cameras and uh, with the decent uh, power um, power adapter, uh, portable power, so they can uh, go very long uh, capture time. So they can be very comfortable for using uh, during the hiking. So while you're hiking, probably you want them to be light and you can just um, mount, attach them to your um, your back. So these cameras can be considered uh, for hiking as well, like Garmin Verb and GoPro Max or GoPro Fusion. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Uh, and one more last, uh, so it's, it's a quick question. Uh, somebody's asking, how do we invite mapillary mappers to a country? Uh, this guy is from uh, Panama, uh, where the covering is really poor. Um, we have committee members from 190 countries. So we are uh, inviting everyone who are based in Panama to contribute mapillary. So we are not really visiting uh, any country for um, Completing the, completing the coverage. We are more encouraging people and building tools uh, for community in a scalable way to uh, capture data and then upload those data without uh, having any problem. And then the, the coverage uh, gonna expand uh, thanks to community. So I'm inviting this person to start uh, capturing and then upload some imagery. So this will be a great start. Perfect. Okay, so that's what we have. Uh, that's Actually, we covered all the questions. I'm glad we just made it uh, perfectly in time uh, for the next presentation. Thanks, Said, a lot for your input, for your talk, for your presentation.